According to United States officials, Iran will soon receive advanced Russian-made Suhoi Su-35 flanker E-fighter jets in exchange for providing weapons to support Russia's invasion of Ukraine. It was also reported that Iranian pilots had received training to fly the Su-35 in Russia. This suggests Iran could start acquiring the aircraft within the next year. The information was disclosed December 9 by White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby. The training is part of what the U.S. describes as an unprecedented level of military and other technological support flowing from Moscow to Tehran, as reported by the Eurasian Times on December 10, 2022. The U.S. says that Moscow has provided Iran with various weapon systems including helicopters, air defense systems and other support, such as training Su-35s. In addition, Moscow wants to work with Iran to build weapons. One of the possible cooperation projects is to create a drone production line in Russia. This partnership poses a threat not only to Ukraine but also to Iran's neighbors in the region. We have shared this information with partners in the Middle East and around the world, said the senior administration official. Kirby stated that the U.S. would use its available resources to uncover and stop this activity as the arms transfer contravened UN Security Council resolutions. Recently, the U.S. administration announced sanctions against Iranian companies and organizations involved in delivering Iranian drones to Russia for use in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the presence of the Su-35 is said to increase the deterrence and combat capability of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIAF, in the Middle East region. Currently the IRIAF is heavily reinforced by old aircraft imported in the era of the Shah of Iran such as the F-4 Phantom II, F-14 Tomcat, and F-5E, F-Tiger II and MiG-29 era aircraft from Russia. Regarding Iran's interest in the Su-35, it was first indicated in September 2022, which mentioned that it would buy a new fighter from Russia. On one occasion, Brigadier General Hamid Vahidi, supreme leader of the IRIAF, acknowledged that his country is in active talks with Russia about purchasing a new fighter jet, although it did not specify the specific aircraft but referred to it as a 4 generation type. It is estimated that the IRIAF will acquire two dozen Su-35S for its services in providing combat drones, kamikaze drones, and possibly ballistic missiles to Russia, which needs them in the war against Ukraine.